Good to see you. Thank you as for always. having me. Thank you. Listen, we were talking in the makeup room a few minutes ago, mm -hmm. and I was asking you about the idea of independent film, which you're in. Uh, and we'll get to that in a moment. But do you see this as an opportunity for African Americans to have a broader sense of, of the big screen? We've heard that for many, many years, but it hasn't come to fruition, quite frankly, yet. Yes, I, I think that we have to, instead of complaining so much, because it is, it's like there's a recession in black Hollywood right now. The only way that we are going to elevate ourselves is to create our own work and find different ways of getting our product out there and not uh, stay complacent with the little bit that they're giving us. I have been very lucky. Um, I've been able to do different kinds of roles, but um, like the film that I have coming out, it's the first time I've had an opportunity to just do a simple, beautiful story. And we don't get opportunities, especially as black women, to do those pretty little stories that you see at Sundance Film Festivals with the mainstream films. Not to impugn anyone, yeah. but there are some white actresses who time and time again have been given opportunity, time and time again been given roles, and I suspect at some point you've got to look at that. We have to, we have to start creating ourselves like a studio would, and that way we don't have to worry about what they want. We get to put out the, the good projects, the projects that we say that we're looking for and that we're yearning for. We get to put out those products. How much has your look been either a help or a hindrance to you because some will say you don't look black enough for Hollywood. Yes. <laughs> Others will say you look just right because you're light enough that they can associate with you. Which has it been for you? It's, it's definitely been both. I think that's why at times I haven't worked so much in the black community, uh, which is why a lot of people think I haven't been working. I've been able to get more, uh, you know, say network shows on white shows because I'm just middle ground enough. If they put me with different men who are white and say I'm their love interest, it doesn't have to be so much explained about the situation. And then in my own community, um, I have found that I, I haven't been embraced as much as mm -hmm. um, I would have liked. So uh, this year, I feel like uh, I'm finally have been recognized as a black woman, as strange as that may seem. Sometimes. Beauty can be a hindrance, even for actresses, in that people see you as almost too pretty, too unattainable, too um, not enough girl next door that people can associate with you. So, so taking the modesty away, do you right. think that's been a problem for you? I believe that I've overcome that because I've always done solid work. I've mm -hmm. always done good work. And I, at least my peers and people in the business respect me for that. Mm -hmm. So I, I will never say that uh, being... Um, attractive uh, has harmed me because it can only help you. So let's talk a little bit about I Will Follow. Okay. A lot of uh, critical buzz about this, uh, not only your performance, but the uh, direction of Ava DuVernay, who has been doing documentaries for, yes. for some years, but has jumped into this. Give us a sense of what the film is about. It's about a woman at a crossroads. She, uh, she's a very successful businesswoman, big makeup artist here in New York City, and tragedy strikes. Why didn't you ever come here? You don't want to left this relationship. You want to left our home, our life, without any discussion. What is there to discuss when someone is dying? There are things to discuss. It's just a simple, beautiful piece of, you know, that there's no big explosions, there's, you know, there's a few laughs, but it's just a beautiful story that we need to be able to tell more of. This character is so multidimensional. You would not see this typically in a black character in a mainstream movie. We have to do our own products because they are not going to give us the smaller films, the other, they, they want, you know, they want us dressing, you know, men dressing up as women, they want the big laugh, they want death. And that's not our only story to tell. So then let me ask you this, to that point, we're going to be talking about it in a minute mm -hmm. uh, at the round table. The whole sense of reality television, and in particular African-American mm -hmm. women in reality television, you know, we've seen a big push of the black woman, loud, boisterous, in your face, always arguing, bullying. How much has that, do you believe, hurt the idea of um, the image of the black woman, in particular when you have the ability to craft it as actors and, and writers right. do? You know, and I think that, I'm, I, I can't say just black, all of these reality shows are making everyone look like buffoons and silly. And those shows would be fine 
if we had the other balance. side, we, if we had balance. So I don't, I, I don't think that we have to get rid of those shows. People seem to be entertained by them. We're just trying to find the balance so that we can see pieces, you know, like like our film that just even it out. Talk to me about the importance of going to see films like I Will Follow. When different black films are coming out, like I Will Follow or any of these other small art house films, we must be there those first few days to support that film because that's what Hollywood is looking at. And they're not making the other films because they, they're going, you're not going to see them. They don't want to see them. Get your family, get 10 people, bring your friends, bring your girlfriends, you know, the girlfriend night out and go see that film. may not be your favorite film, but that will help you get your favorite film. What's, uh, what's down the line for you? What can we look forward to? Well, I, I did a film for, uh, with Mario Van Peebles uh, that probably will come out in the next few months. I go back to do the fifth season of my show, Eureka. Mm -hmm. And I'm also directing the show. Started directing mm -hmm. the, uh, the show last year, directing more this season. Acting is not the only job, people. You have to, uh, you have to go behind the camera. Too. All right, well, always good to see you. And an image, particularly with, with black women, is so very important. And you, throughout your career, have always been positive in your choices. So we appreciate it. Good Thank to see you very you. much for having me.